So welcome back everybody, this is Sliced Lime with Minecraft 1.8.4 that released just recently. Getting so-called custom player heads became much more difficult. We have created a new world here, it's fresh, you can even see the terrain generating over here. And uh, I'm going to show you every single step needed to get custom player heads. It's more complicated now, but I've made a small tool that makes it at least a bit easier. You'll see how it's done. Let's start by giving myself a command block, because we're going to need that. And let's grab a redstone block while we're at it, because we're going to need it too. Uh, so I am at my usual link skin here, and we're actually going to need to change that. But I'll keep this Minecraft instance open. Normally, if you don't relog, your skin doesn't change. So we'll see that. We'll be using this command block to give us skins. Now, however, we'll need to leave Minecraft for a web browser. And here we are in the browser. Now, before we start this process, there's one thing you need to know. This will involve replacing your skin. So if you don't have a copy of your skin, you're going to want to get a backup of that. The good news is there are a lot of sites where you can do this, and I will add a link to one of them in the video description. Now then, the first site we're going to be using is Minecraft.net. You're going to need to go here and log in. The login button is at the top right corner. And once you've done that, it will say logged in as your username, just like it says logged in a sliced lime here for me. Now click the profile button up here in the menu. This will get us to this site. And what we're going to do is upload a new skin. So click the choose file button. I've downloaded a red ninja and some uh, block ones here. So let's go with the red ninja one and click upload. If everything went as it's supposed to, you should have this message here. Your skin has been changed. It will take a couple of seconds for it to update. Okay, the second site we're going to be using is my own site. It's called slicelime.tv. I've just created this site, so it's uh, not as polished as it could be. But one of the first things that's available on it is this custom player heads page. So if you go here, you'll find this custom player heads tool. And you have this, some instructions here, but essentially all you need to do is type your Minecraft name into this box. Uh, and then hit submit. So what will happen is it'll give you a command here that you just copy, and then we'll head back into Minecraft. And now we are back. So as you can see, I'm still my old skin because I haven't restarted Minecraft. But if I take and paste the command into this command block, and then activate that, it'll give me a player head with this uh, ninja skin. And I'm going to repeat that for the other two textures as well. All right, so now I'm back. I've done all the three textures here. And as you can see, they are all here. And I am now able to switch back to my old skin. And these ones will always remain this way. The textures are hosted on the skin server and they will not change. They will be this way regardless of how many times I changed my skin. Somebody actually asked in one of the Reddit threads about the 1.8.4 update whether we could rely on these staying the same. And Grum actually came into the thread and said that they'd never removed any skin files and that they didn't plan on doing so in the future. So you can be pretty sure that if you make custom player heads this way, they will be available for the foreseeable future. This process is fairly involved and there's a limitation on the Minecraft server side of things. It's called a rate limit and it controls how often you're allowed to do this. Currently it's set at once per minute. It's not a problem if you just want a custom head like this or three even. But it does break a lot of neat things like the statue generator by Logstone and Jasper the End. Watch out when you're generating this command. If it says error in the middle of it, instead of this long string of characters, either something went completely wrong or you're just being too quick. We'll see if we can figure out a way around that. Eventually, we'll see if we can expand these kinds of uh, tools that this custom head generator is to uh, be a bit more streamlined as time passes. At least for now, this will let you generate custom player heads once again to use in your custom maps. And that is really all there is to it. If this custom head generator is useful to you, please consider leaving a like on the video as a thank you. And if you have any comments or questions or need any help with it, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. 
My name is Slice Lime. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.